So starting off with denaturation, we said that denaturation happens in our stomach and it is what is required for our proteins to be able to be digested. So again, we said that proteins need to be denatured before they can be digested. Denaturation is when the protein is deactivated and as a result of that, it untangles. This is important because normally the protein is in this tangled up mess like you see over here. And when it's in this shape, the enzymes can't get into all of those folds and bends. And because of this, they can't access all parts of the protein to break it down. So in order for the enzymes to successfully break down the protein, the protein needs to be more accessible. So we need to untangle it, like the structure that we see at the bottom, so that the enzyme can access all parts of that protein and break it down. Now remember that proteins can't be denatured until we reach the stomach, and the reason for this is because we need either heat or acid for denaturation to occur. Up until the stomach, we didn't have that. The stomach contains hydrochloric acid, HCl, and because of that, we can go ahead and denature the protein using the acid in the stomach, and that allows the protein to become untangled and accessible for the enzymes. So again, just to recap, the reason that we weren't able to begin digestion until we reached the stomach is because up until now we didn't have acid to denature it and until it's denatured the enzymes are not going to have full access to it and they're not going to be able to break it down.